Struggling to set up a many-to-many -many relationship in ASP.NET Core MVC? In this video, I'll walk you through the entire process using .NET 9, ensuring that by the end you'll have everything set up. So what exactly is a many-to-many -many relationship? Let's say we have clients and items in our database. Each client can have multiple items and each item can be bought by multiple clients. This creates a many-to-many -many relationship that we need to manage with a helper model. In this video, we'll cover how to set up the models, configure the relationships in the database, and make the necessary adjustments in our application. If you're following along, we've already laid the groundwork, which you can revisit in a previous video linked on the screen or in the description. Well, welcome to Code the Future. My name is Alien, and I help you learn C Sharp and .NET on your own. Now let's get into it. So let's just go back to our project, and our main model was the item model. Now, if we connect the item with a client model, let's say one item can be purchased by multiple clients and one client may purchase multiple items as well. So this is a many-to-many -many relationship between the item and the client. Unlike the other relationships we've seen before, this type of relationship requires an additional helper model to connect these two models with one another, which we'll see in a bit. But firstly, let's just create a client model by just going to the models folder and adding a class for the client. And firstly, we'll just give it an public int id property and a string name property. We'll initialize this property here to avoid the compiler warnings. And now, as I already said, we're gonna need a helper model. So this, this client model will be firstly connected to this helper model in order then to be connected to the item model. We'll see this better after we create this helper model, which usually takes the name, it takes a combination of the names of the two original models. We can name this item client. And this model will be connected to both the client and to the item. For this reason, we are going to need firstly a public int item ID property to connect to the item. And of course, an item property named item. So basically using the item ID, this item client model will be connected to an item model. And the same thing will happen also for the client model so we need a client id property and a client property named client so that basically what we're telling the item client here is that the item client model will be connected to the item and to the client using these foreign keys uh, respectively. So the item ID for the item and the client ID for the client model. And in each of the other two models, we need to connect these two models with this helper model. And basically we need to have here a list property, a list of item clients, to connect our model with multiple item clients. I'll name it item clients as well. And I'll make this property nullable so that we do not have to assign a client firstly as soon as we create the item or as soon as we can create the client then. And I'm gonna copy this property and paste it in our client model as well. So basically the client here and the item as well are firstly connected with the item client, which then connects them to the specific item in the case, in this case, for example, in the case of the client. And now what we need to do is go to our context class and actually add these dbset instances of the two new models we created so that they will be stored as tables in our database. So public dbset client, I'll name it clients, 
and also a db set instance for our helper model. named item clients and uh, unlike the other relationships actually we are going to need to specify this relationship of the item and the clients with the item clients model in our context as well so just somewhere inside this own model creating method we'll basically firstly use the model builder class to specify the relationship of the item client model or entity with the item and the client. Basically here we'll firstly specify the foreign keys that are in this in this model. So item client we need to write here that has key. So here we specify both of the foreign keys. Let's take a variable here for item client we need to write the new keyword and inside curly braces then here we will specify the two foreign keys so the item id and the client id and in another line then we will basically specify the relationship that this item client model has with each of the two models so here we specified the keys firstly the foreign keys here we'll specify the relationship in a bit more detail so we need to use the model builder class again that entity item client So we basically say here that the item client entity is connected to the item model first. To the item model. And we write the with many method that specifies that an item can be connected to multiple item clients model. And we specify the foreign key again, which will be the item ID. And we'll copy, I'm just going to copy this line and do the same thing for the second relationship between the item client and the client model. So we just need to change here the relationship so it's connected to a client model with multiple which is connected with multiple item clients and the foreign key here will be the client id and that was it for our configurations in our deep context about the relationship between our three models now let's go to package manager console let me make this bigger and add another migration for the many-to-many -many relationship. I'll name it just many-to-many, -many, the name of the migration. And the database schema or the migration was created. Now let's just update the database. So all of the changes we made in our project will be reflected in our database as well. Everything was built successfully, so now for this video I'm going to go and see the database and we're going to populate the data in the database. Just as a reminder, if you want to get the fundamentals right in C Sharp or improve whatever you're building in .NET, check out my ebook which is on sale now. It will save you hours of research by providing all the C Sharp insights you need in one place. You can find the link in the description if you'd like to check it out. And now back to the video. So I'm just going to go to the database that I connected with this application. Let me refresh it. If we go to tables. Okay, I'm just firstly going to go to the items table and click on edit top 200 rows so that we see the top 200 rows. Okay, 
let me just see the clients table added top 200 rows as well and the item clients model okay so what i'm gonna do here let me just firstly create two clients one with a name let's say zach and one with the name like martin so we have two clients with the idea of one and two let me just find our items here so our items we have an item with the idea of two one with the idea of four and one with the idea of a hundred and two a thousand and two actually so i'm gonna connect in the items item clients table here i'm gonna connect the item with the id of i think two with zach here which was a client with idea of one and the item with idea of four with martin and the other item was had the idea of a thousand and two and i'll connect it with zach as well so Zach here has purchased two items, so to say. Okay, now that we have set up the some data in our database, let's go to the project. I'm gonna to need to go to the index action method in our controller, actually, so that we include here the when we query the items in our database, we want it to basically include also the list of clients with which an item is connected to. So here I'm gonna add a new line and click on include c goes to i see that item clients and then in this case in a many to many relationship model we need then the uh, then include method so basically after we include here the item client helper model which with which the item is connected then we need to include with this then include method the client the clients model because the item firstly is connected to the helper model to the item clients model and then it is connected to the clients model i hope that's not too complicated to the client okay now i'm just going to need to go to the index page to the index view page and add a new table header here for the clients clients and down below where we display the list of clients with which a model is connected to i'm just going to use this table data tag here and i'm actually going to use a for each loop because one item may have multiple multiple clients here we we'll look through a variable i'll name it client in item that item clients with which is here this was the temporary variable we created and we'll loop through each items item clients then we will display each the clients that client that name so we are accessing for each item the item clients helper model and then the client that name property of that model let me just run the application. Let's refresh the items route. And we should see another column in our table and we see for each item we see the client. So for the keyboard we see that the client is Zach, for the microphone is Martin and for the book is Zach again. So basically in this case each item has only one client but the client has two items and this is basically how the many to many relationship works in asp.net core mvc if this video was helpful youtube thinks you should watch the video that's now appearing on the screen so i'll see you there don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons for more content like this and i'll see you soon